Join our hosts as they test the capabilities of the Grady White Fisherman 257, a center console boat that's crafted to fish all of your favorite spots offshore with ease and provide the family a relaxing day on the water. The Grady White Fisherman 257 has an overall length of 24 feet 9 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 400. Designed with a blue water angler in mind, she has a draft of 20 inches, a dead rise of 20 degrees, a dry weight of 4,300 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 135 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Today, we're very fortunate to be on a Grady White, and we love everything they bring us each year, and this year is no exception. We're on the Fisherman 257, which has been a very popular model for Grady White. Now, something that's really impressed me over the years about this company is their ability to build a boat that appeals to the family, that likes to fish and also cruise. And a lot of boat companies make that claim and they do it, but Grady does it really well. They're gonna bring you a boat that's got a lot of fish ability and a lot of comfort features for the family at the same time, and they're gonna do it 100% correct. Now, although I said Grady White is a brand that's really associated with a lot of family boaters, don't let that take away from the fact that these boats really shine in the performance department. Now, the Fisherman 257 absolutely stands out in this class as a boat that's going to really be a capable boat to get you offshore fishing and, more importantly, get you out there comfortably and safely at the same time. We need to address a couple of different elements about the ride, the handling, and just the helm experience on this model. We'll start here. New for 2022 is an all-new top here, new design here, which they've incorporated a bunch of cool stuff in it, some lighting in the top, and the shade is really nice too, but more importantly, they've added a new one-piece acrylic windscreen here, which I really like. Let me tell you why. This is a very popular design in boating nowadays, this acrylic one-piece, and this particular design is really good from the user experience standpoint because it's a really nice unobstructed view for the helmsman. I'm not looking at zippers or seams on Isinglass and canvas and I like that. That's gonna be a really comfortable way to ride and you're gonna be safer that way because you're gonna see everything coming your way when you're on the water. Now one other thing from a performance and economic standpoint, this Fisherman 257 we're on today was really, really impressive. This model laid down some really impressive performance numbers. We jumped right out of the hole, got up on plane at 30 miles an hour very quickly, running at 30 at 3500 RPMs I might add. We're getting about two and a half miles a gallon efficiency and the boat tops out over 50 miles an hour. Grady White has really done a great job combining family comfort features and fishing features, and the Fisherman 257 is no exception. The Fisherman 257 is really set up like a traditional center console fishing boat. Console in the middle, hard top, cockpit fishing area. Now the cockpit fishing area is like the way we normally fish offshore. If you're fishing behind outriggers, you've got a 185 quart fish box in the transom, a 32 gallon live well in the corner also on the transom, and you're fishing in the back behind a spread, you're looking at ballyhoos or you're pulling live baits fishing like a traditional sport fish boat might. This is with a twist though. The forward seating on this is a really great family feature, but they've got an optional filler panel here that creates a nice casting deck and also below us there are a pair of 120 quart insulated fish holes up here as well. This provides a good spot to do a little bit of sight fishing. If you're offshore looking for weed lines or if you're on the beach looking for something, maybe find a log floating. You can stand up here and cast a bait or a lure to it and fish very effectively from up here as well. George, I just want to point out one thing that I've noticed standing up here. I feel like there's a good balance. Normally when you have a deck that transforms and now it's elevated, we have a fishing platform, you don't have the security anymore of the freeboard. I feel like this is still giving me that security up here fishing. I still have plenty of room to rest on. I'm comfortable leaving the deck up and having the kids hang up out here. Sure, and you say that you're comfortable with them running around the boat. You bring up a good point there. Grady is really, really big on safety. I mean, being a family boat company, they want everybody to feel safe and to be safe on the boat. And you might notice that there's a handrail just about everywhere you go on board. If there's not a handrail, there's something to hold onto or grab onto. And that makes a big difference in the day. I mean, when you're running, I mean, things happen. You lose your balance and start to go when you've got something to grab onto. It's right there and they're all over the boat here. Each day when I jump on a new boat to evaluate the boat and spend a day on it, I go into it looking at it from a couple of different angles. 
first, I'm going to evaluate the boat based on my expectations. How is the boat going to perform? How is it going to handle? What kind of features is the boat going to have? And Grady White has built a name for themselves on providing family features and fishing features. We've said it over and over again. I happen to have spent a lot of time on Grady White's over the years. I've probably been on most of their models, and they always live up to the claims that they make in the brochure. Now, Lori, you're an actual family boater. What is your assessment of the Fisherman 257, having spent the day on it? Amazing, George. And, you know, they kept saying family fisherman. Like, this has nailed it. When it comes to the family with the storage, the seating arrangements, I mean, even down to the boarding platform, it was laid out to what I like as a mom with my kids. And I walk around the boat going, you know, eyes wide open. They're saying family and they're saying fisherman. Can you really put that all in one? You can because this boat can go offshore. We like to go offshore. We like to do the family activities. And to have it to where the boat can manage all of that, not feel cluttered, and have the space and the comfort and even the way the boat ran today. I, I just enjoyed it so much and I could see my family on this boat and not to mention that 25 foot mark. I like that because we like to travel with our boat, with our family. It's easy to trailer, easy to get out there and see the rest of the world. I'm, I'm in, I love it. <laughs>